Here with reaction, former Speaker of the House and Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich. Newt, good morning to you. Good morning. So there was no cover up. Uh, behind the scenes, he's still sharp as a tack. Well, look, uh, the key part of the speech that you just played <clears throat> is purely and simply a lie. He didn't decide to get out for the good of the country. He, he, he had Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama orchestrating an all-out attack that would have destroyed him in the next week or two. This is, this is a coup d'etat. We've never seen anything like it in American history. This is a group of bosses who decided that 14,500,000 Democrats in the primaries were wrong, that Joe Biden was no longer worthy of their approval, and that they were going to impose a San Francisco radical, which for Pelosi makes sense. Uh, and uh, to say anything else is just not to be honest with the American people. So Biden's farewell address was, was a dishonest one. Uh, it, it's not true what he said. It wasn't some grand decision. He got out because he knew that Pelosi and Obama in the next week or so were going to beat his brains out. Uh, and so this literally was like Venezuela or Russia or somewhere else. This was a coup against a, a freely elected sitting president on behalf of replacing him mm -hmm. with a San Francisco radical. And the coup was led by a San Francisco radical in Pelosi. Yeah. You, you know, Newt, uh, for those who watched the channel yesterday, you saw the president of the United States and you saw the uh, you saw him at eight o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, earlier in the day, though, you saw Benjamin Netanyahu from the well of the House of Representatives speaking to a joint session of Congress who were all there. And, um, you know, when you compare and contrast Netanyahu's cognitive behavior and his physicality with Biden's, you just think, eh, what happened to Joe Biden? That guy who gave that speech last night is not the guy even who was sworn in three and a half years ago. Well, I think that became just frighteningly obvious in the debate uh, with Trump. Uh, Callista and I were watching it and we thought maybe Biden would make one or two or three mistakes. But from the moment we tuned in, that very opening answer, it was clear you were dealing with somebody who cognitively had declined to a point right. where they were incoherent and they were incompetent. And I think if you had a split screen and you looked at the directness, the toughness, and also the thoughtfulness of Netanyahu, right. and then you looked at the, the vapidity and the lack of energy of Biden, it's just unbelievable, the gap in the two. Indeed. All right. Uh, New, thank you very much for joining us live on this Thursday. Sure.